get emotional. Emotions are a good, good thing. Feeling is a good, good thing. Emotions supercharge the manifesting process. When I figured this out for myself, this was the missing piece for me. I read all of the uh, Abraham Hicks books and I, you know, The Secret, I watched the movie. Um, I read a bunch of uh, Huna philosophy, which is a Hawaiian um, belief system that really talks about manifesting. I mean, it's really all about how everything is energy and energy is attracted to itself. And, you know, this is how we create our lives. And all of that reading and all of that learning mentally in my mind, I knew what manifesting was and I knew how to manifest, right? But stuff wasn't showing up. So it's like I was trying to think my way into these new experiences. And all of a sudden one day I added a little emotion to it and it was incredible. It was like, it was like stuff started appearing out of thin air. So emotion will supercharge the manifesting process for us. If you can feel as if you already have the thing that you're after, you will erase the time space continuum and that thing will be drawn to you at lightning speed. So I'm going to share an example that maybe will bring this a little bit more to life. I talked about this in the book. It's a story I really enjoy telling because it was one of the bigger moments um, in my life, one of the bigger opportunities that I had manifested that just came so beautifully and so brilliantly demonstrates, I think, the magic of manifesting. So I was um, headed down to see my parents in Florida. I was still at home. I was showering. I was soaping myself up, just letting my mind wander. And I was thinking about what it might be like to be a millionaire. Everybody's favorite standby, right? I want to be rich. And so as I am, you know, lathering up my hair, there was a split second or five where I was actually, I felt like what it would be like to be a millionaire. I could feel it in my energy. It was as if I was a millionaire for those few seconds in the shower. And then, you know, I just kind of came back to and just finished showering and whatever. I got ready, hopped on my flight. I had a layover. So during my two hour layover, I found a quiet spot in the airport, got my laptop fired up and I was gonna check email. So I go ahead, I pull up my email the first email in my inbox is from a friend of mine that I used to work with. And he was working overseas at that time. He had just finished up a contract with the United States government and he was being basically wooed by other companies. And one of the companies was, uh, had made him an offer. And I, it was such an attractive offer, like hundreds of thousands of dollars plus bonuses and you know, he, he was going to be set for life if he went to go work for them. And, you know, he's a pretty down to earth guy. And I think he was kind of like, you know, eh, I don't know if I believe them or I don't know, you know, it, it was a really, it was a hard sell because I think he's not somebody that you can really charm. And I think the company was trying to charm him. So anyway, to show them that they were actually, that it was a serious offer they were making him with this huge, huge uh, paycheck. They said, well, you know, uh, we, just, we just hired a marketing person to do some communications for us and here's what we hired them at. And it was a tremendously high number. <laughs> so I happened to work in marketing communications and my friend, knew this because we worked together and he goes, he goes, you just hired a new marketing person and you're paying them that? He goes, are they any good? And the company representative looked at my friend and said, yeah, they're all right. You know, they're not great, but it's fine. And he goes, because I know somebody who's really good. And the company rep's eyes apparently lit up and he said, my gosh, who, who are they? Would they want to come work for us? tell him this is what we're going to pay him. So my friend was like, you know what? He goes, I don't know. She just got a promotion with the company she's with over in the States. I'm not really sure she's going to be interested, but you know what? I'll, I'll run it by her. <laughs> so 
So he sends me an email and his email was titled something like, I didn't realize you folks made this much money. So of course I'm intrigued, right? Because it's not just your typical like, hey, how you doing email? So I open it up and in that email, he outlines this interaction that he's had. And he said, yeah, he said, so, you know, I didn't think you'd be interested, but I thought I'd run it by you anyway. If you want, they'd like to hire you uh, just based on my recommendation. He said, they'll pay $900,000 a year plus a 10% signing bonus. And I was just like, I think I had to read the email a couple times to believe it could be real. And my friend is somebody who is tremendously honest, sincere, genuine, and it was like, oh my God, just this morning in the shower, I was feeling what it might feel like to be a millionaire. A few hours later, I open up my laptop and I've got an email with a job offer for a million dollars a year. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Some people might say, well, so congratulations on becoming a millionaire. And of course, I didn't take the job. <laughs> people say, why the heck not? The caveat was it would have required moving overseas and it would have required moving to a country that had just had a lot of uh, fighting and was dangerous, was particularly dangerous for Americans at the time. And it, I just wasn't feeling comfortable to take it. Did I love the money offer? You betcha. Was I feeling like I wanted to give up the comforts of a wonderful American lifestyle to go live someplace where I'd have to have security with me all the time? Unfortunately, no. But isn't it amazing and miraculous and magical and all those great words you wanna put in there about how the universe works. If we can feel like we already have the thing we're after, the universe has no choice but to bring us together with it.